Yo, what is up guys? Twist you here and today I'm going to be showing you the best BAL class setup on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This loadout is primarily based around how I like to play Call of Duty and my game style. So don't force this upon you, I just highly recommend that you try it out. Alright, let's jump into this. The attachments I'm using on the BAL is suppressor, quick draw grip and stock. It's pretty obvious I'm using three attachments. I unlock this by using uh, the wildcard primary gunfighter and this potentially makes your gun a lot more powerful and can make, make the difference in getting that kill. Alright, the attachments I'm using is silencer. The reason I love to use silencer is because I like to stay off the minimap. In this game I find because the, the, the gameplay is so fast many people can just if you're not using a silence people can just pick you up come behind you and just wipe you off your feet i don't like being shot in the back i like to stay stealth stick to the edges of the map and i don't like to be seen by enemies so this um this attachment i find is essential to my playstyle. the second attachment i got is stock stock is basically stalker from ghost it's not an attachment it's not a perk it's an attachment now um the reason I like using this is because I find on this game or, or any Call of Duty that um, stalker or stock is essential because you move faster when aiming down sights and I find that is essential on assault rifle because you can move so sluggish and I just like to be able to aim around corners and maybe that could be the difference in winning that kill because you can get that first bullet on them. Um, and then my third attachment is a quick draw grip. The reason I use a quick draw grip is because I like to be the, as I said before with the stock, I like to be the person that ha gets the first hit or the first bullet on them because that could be the difference in winning that gunfight. So I might might be able to get used to it um, later on down the line, but so far I like to be that first person in the gunfight because it's a new game, and but I'm finding this attachment works really well. So those are the attachments for the BAL. Um, secondary, I don't, I don't feel a need personally for a secondary, um, so we just go in with the combat knife. Uh, no exo ability and no exo launcher. My perks, all right. Perk one. Loads of people will be saying, why aren't you using lightweight? All right. The reason I don't use lightweight is because you've got exo abilities. I, you don't need to be able to run faster. I feel that the exo abilities can move you fast enough without lightweight so i rather save a wild, um, a wild card and um, use it on perk 3 instead or the primary gunfighter so i find i don't need lightweight i just like i like to use low profile and what low profile does is keeps you invisible from uav tracking rounds and exo ping so basically um i like to stay off the map as I said before, I stick to the edges of the map. This keeps me stealth and also a lot of people are using UAVs. It's a new game, they run low streaks. So a lot of people are calling in UAVs and I don't want to be detected on that minimap. So I'm trying to stay as stealth as possible. So that's why I find the perk for me is low profile. My second perk is peripherals. This is a new perk brought into Call of Duty and basically it is... Um, it increases the minimap coverage and take out enemies and you can take out enemies without displaying their death location and what that is if you don't know is when you kill someone there will be a little skull or maybe spot it out if, if your teammates get killed you might see a little skull and that is basically the death location of your teammate um, but I find this this is a very good perk um, it as it's pretty self-explanatory makes the map bigger so if people are not using silencer or they using don't have blast suppressor and they use their exo ability it it reveals a lot a lot more things and you can you can see a lot more and be more aware and as i said i like to be stealth and i like to be aware of things all right perk three perk three i'm using a perk three greed and i'm using scavenger and blast suppressor loads of people might be saying hey why are you not using toughness Toughness for me, I don't feel I need it. I rather use my uh, my perk on on scavenger because I used toughness at the start of the game to get a feel for it, and um, but now I'm 
I'm used to without it. Um, I'm finding it really, really good. And as well, it can give, it can be a good benefit as well. When you're in a gunfight and you get a little flinch, that could move your ADS up to its head, up to the enemy's head, and you can get that one little bullet headshot. Um, but I find you don't need toughness. I feel that you flinch backwards. I know it's been proven um, that you can you flinch upwards, but I feel in a gunfight when you're shooting um, that it doesn't flinch up. I think that's just when you're just um, regularly just ADSing. But um, so yeah, that, I rather have scavenger because I'm um, beginning to hit like 15 streaks, gun streaks, and I'm like running out of ammo pretty quickly. Um, but so yeah, I like to use scavenger and then blast suppressor Blast suppressor again. It's new because of the exos. This is a very a very essential perk to me and to many other people What this does is invisible on the minimap when you perform exo moves and what that means is when you perform an exo move you uh, without this perk, if you perform an exo move, you will provide a little ping on the enemy minimap, and this prevents that. So you will be invisible on the map when you perform an exo move. When you double jump, you won't provide that ping, and you will, again you won't really um, reveal your location. And I find this is really good for me. Again, is because it's another stealth perk. This keeps me off the minimap when I perform exo moves. My location won't be revealed, so I am completely stealth. I can be that ninja on, in the game, and I can sneak up behind people, and um, I can hit streaks without being detected. So I find this perk is really, really good. I really enjoy having this perk. I think it helps out a lot. All right, my score streaks. I'm using a UAV, bombing run, and a paladin. And the upgrades I'm using on the UAV is an enemy direction, which um, shows which which way the enemies are facing on the minimap. And then the threat detection is like an oracle, but within the UAV. Uh, after every sweep of the UAV, it will show. Um, it will be like an oracle, and it will show the enemies like where they're running and through walls and stuff like that. So for me, this is like an orbital VSAT. But a bit better with, um, yeah, basically an orbital, orbital VSAT with an oracle on it. So um, I find this is re a really good team enhancement, and you can be a really good team player with this because it's not just for you; it's for your team as well. So your team can feed off this, and um, it will help them out a lot as well. All right. Second, I'm using a bombing run with additional bomber. This, I find, makes the bombing run a lot more powerful, and it could be the difference between getting that hit marker and the kill. There could be an enemy running out of the line of the bombs and could just be a hit marker. The additional bomber could come in and just get that, that last hit marker and it could win you that kill. So this is a really good attachment or upgrade, sorry. So this, I find that that works really well and you can pick up a lot more kills. All right, my third score streak is the Paladin. And this Paladin has the upgrade um, extra time, so essentially it's self-explanatory. I get extra time when operating the Paladin, um, so I get the opportunity to get more kills and yeah, just to get extra time. Um, but in my opinion, the Paladin could be a lot better. The Paladin isn't, it for the score, like the... Um, the cost of this score streak to actually get it, it's quite high, and it, in my opinion, for that high, um, this level of score streak isn't really, it's not performing up to a high enough standard. It could just be me, um, but I don't know. So yeah, well there you go, guys. This is my class setup. Now I'm going to be showing you some clips of me using it, getting some feeds, and you can get a little look uh, of what this gun can do. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and peace. Okay, here we go. Freestyle Friday number nine. Now, before you jump the gun on anything, this is supposed to be like a house party type song, like 2004, so sing along when you can. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me, oh. 
Oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Owers and tastemakers make us no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle man and inhale the vapors. Madman, huh? old ten dime drapers. Cut the jukebox on, make the woofers blow. Go. We gon' sit here until all them heifers go. go. Holler at the tens and spend a little dough. Not on them, no. They can buy their own drinks. Shake that work week off five days in the bucket. Fuck it, you got a boss who's a jerk who doesn't. Throw on some Wu Tang, bring the motherfucking ruckus. There is no pretext. We are living and we love it on a budget